Hi there, my name is Asla Nakafero and I will be showing you how to prep your nails for a gel manicure and this is all done at home. Well, I did a tie and dye design on my fingernail and I think I, I liked it and I'll be showing you how I did that. Well, I had stick ones with a bit of with gel on top and that's what they look like when I have removed everything. So I'm generally going to prep the nail bed. That's a nail drill. It's a portable nail drill. It uses batteries. And actually, I just put two batteries. And you need very strong batteries for this. So at the top is where I insert the nail bit. I'm going to use that one. And I test it on my hand just to see the speed so it does not hurt me. So we start off with file, the nail bed. You won't be needing to exert pressure with the nail drill onto your nail bed. You just need to sit the nail drill on the nail and it will do the job. No need for you to put pressure on it. That's what the nail will look like after. So what I'm removing is that debris or the, whatever gets stuck. Remember, I just pulled off the nails after doing loads of housework. These nails pop off by themselves. So that is exactly what I'm removing. Just those things that stick on the gel that stays onto your nail bed. That's what I'm removing with the nail drill. Like I said, you don't need to exert pressure on the nail drill. Simply place it where you want to remove whatever you want to remove and it will go off. And for someone who's using an electric nail drill or heavy duty nail drill, same thing. You don't need to press that nail drill onto the nail all you need to do is place it where you want to remove whatever you want to remove and it will work another thing about a nail drill you want to you are the director of whatever you're doing so just make sure you're not taking it towards your skin go with the natural carvings of your nail and you will achieve what you want if you fail to do that then the nail drill will cut your skin or your cuticles my preference is the box it's what i would want for this snail shape so i'm filing the nails and please as you're doing this it doesn't take a short time file as you look at the nail and see what exactly what exact shape you're getting to so like i said i want the box and we're slowly getting there pull out those cuticles or cut those cuticles whichever you prefer i prefer to push push it out and then i clip it with a clip so that's what the nails will be looking like i've done a video on how to rectify that or patch that so time to paint the nails so that is bond bond just removes all the grease off of your nail bed before you put gel polish the other thing i didn't tell you is when you are painting your nail you want the bristles to spread out and then you drag the brush upwards you want the bristles to spread out and then you drag the brush upwards when they spread out they do a curve like shape that will help you reach every other corner of your nail i hope this is clear so keep painting and that is the best coat after you've put the first coat of best coat make sure you seal sealing is what i'm doing right there sealing where the nail stops or then where the nail bell nail bed stops <laughs> sorry same thing for the color you're applying. You want to spread those bristles so they make a curve so they reach every other angle of your nail. So for the nail design or for the tie and dye design, you have to put a coat of base coat onto the color you have already put and don't, cure, don't dry it or cure it under the UV lead lamp. When it's still wet, you want to put dots of the color you want to make a pattern so those dots will spread out because the base coat is still wet so they spread out if you look at the first dot i created it has already spread out and it's like a light purple already but the dots i'm putting are still tight and still together they have not yet spread out doing this takes time so no need to rush as you're doing this and give the dots that you have put to spread give them time to spread no need to rush that's what the nail looks like so far so the more we wait for it the more these dots will spread so the faster you work the faster you place the dots 
the faster they will spread. So that's really up to you. So for those corners of the nails where the brush did not reach, get a fine brush or a thin brush and just drag the color on the sides like I'm doing. That will help you reach the ends. So to create the tie and dye style even further, we get more of that color and make darker patches or darker patterns to achieve the tie and dye style. All right. So there's no rushing here. Take your time as you do this to achieve the design. Otherwise, thanks for watching and bye.